2016, uh, you know, we were looking at uh, diversifying and and trying to figure out what can we do in terms of renewables. Water just somehow kind of caught my attention, um, and I thought that water is probably a completely ignored commodity, right? And uh, we need to figure out uh, what can we do with water. Uh, looking at the air from a perspective of actually being a source of water, something that really intrigued me. And there was some level of technology in terms of doing this at a very rudimentary level. So I figured, uh, can we really go about uh, building a machine of our own? So in December 2016, I set about on the journey to find a good team of engineers uh, to kind of help in making our first systems out. It took us about seven to eight months. The first system we built was a thousand liter per day system. Shortly thereafter, we started to commercialize the systems. Uh, our first client was uh, Indian Oil uh, in Haldia, where we deployed a few 300 liter systems. Until date, like over the last six years, uh, 800 people there drink water from our machines on a daily basis. What do I hope uh, ACO achieves globally? Well, the way we look at it, I think, uh, obviously being a renewable technology, we're very dependent on the weather, right? So temperature and humidity and climatic conditions play a huge role. So obviously we have our geographical limitations, right? Uh, we, we can work very well in, in uh, tropical uh, weather conditions and environment. And uh, we, we hope that at least as a technology, we should be able to make an impact on 25 to 30% of freshwater demands. Let's say there's a building that generate, that consumes 100,000 liters of water on a daily basis. At least 25,000 liters of that should be coming from air. Um, so that's how we, we would like to see Aqua globally. We already are in seven, about 15 countries around the world with over 2,000 plus machines deployed. So from a scale perspective, it's, it's good to see where we're going and how more and more people are adopting our technology. ACO essentially, uh, although another word for water, stands for uh, Advanced Knowledge Ventures and Opportunities, is uh, what the acronym is. And um, we're in the field of water generation. So what we're trying to work towards is that the, the world is seeing a lot of water crisis. You see, you're hearing about city after city. Um, Niti Aayog a couple of days ago said that, you know, 600 million uh, Indians don't have access to water. Mm. And uh, so the scarcity is increasing, especially with regards to portable water and things like that. So Aqua is a renewable source of water. Sure. Uh, we make uh, atmospheric water generators that uh, essentially capture the humidity in the air and generate portable drinking water straight from it. From a user experience perspective, uh, we've seen a lot of change. We've seen a lot of different, uh, uh, you know, reactions or impacts. Like, but the most, since we're mostly a solutions company and we're now focusing primarily on large enterprises um, and, and B2B customers, we see that it has started to make a huge shift in terms of how our water is most sustainable, uh, how we're making real impact with regards to that how more and more people are becoming at least drinking water independent with our systems. They don't have to rely on those 20 liter jars anymore, those five gallon jars. You know, you can simply have piped water from air straight to your offices. And uh, it's been a fascinating journey to see how we've transformed from an idea in 2016 to actually having deployment. Right today, Aqua as a company generates 250,000 liters of water from air on a daily basis across the world. So I think that is a good number to be at. And our target over the next two years is to take that figure to a million liters of water per day. So it's going to be a very interesting and exciting time ahead. Is the process really as simple as it sounds? Oh yes. Um, so on a fundamental level, it is very simple, right? We've all seen growing up, uh, you have a bottle of cold water or a glass of cold water on a hot summer day and you immediately see that condensate has started to collect uh, outside the glass. 
and the simple process of condensation uh, is, uh, is is nature's gift right uh, effectively anything that works within dew point uh, where the temperature is far lower uh, uh, than the ambient temperatures water will automatically change its form from its uh, vapor form to its liquid form and there's so much water around us in the air that uh, we've completely ignored it as a source of water for the longest time and I think uh, we should definitely look at that and see that we can make real impact across the world. As the world's population grows and more and more people move up from po below poverty line to above poverty line and then the, to middle class and upper middle class, more and more people aspire to uh, go for better things. So like the you know, plastic bottle, the water has become a thing which is very conventional. Uh, and what we're not understanding, the flip side of that in environment is that the amount of plastic waste that we're generating on a daily basis simply from drinking water. So we see that at least with our technology, we can be transmission free. So with Aqua, we'll be able to give you transmission free water, right? On point water generation. Uh, so it's literally water bottled at source if somebody's bottling it. But uh, the point here is that we can generate water on the point of location without any carbon emission at the same time without any plastic waste. Um, this is how we think that we can really impact the environment and get rid of the plastic waste and get rid of and reduce the carbon emissions associated with bottled water. Uh, that's how we see it.